All right, hello everyone, in peace of Christ, all of you, please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. You know, lately, you know, we see Muslims making funny videos, uh, and I will give you an idea of those videos. Mr. Eddie from the Dean Show. Brothers and sisters, I have a great news for you. The guy who burned the Quran, he killed himself a brother. <laughs> I mean, aren't you ashamed of your stupidity? <laughs> Do you, Muhammad, have a shame? You know, listen, I have an offer for the Dean Show. If you make a donation of the price of equal, I don't want more. Something can buy me 365 Quran. I will make a promise to burn one of them for my barbecue every day. And let us see. I mean, I promise you. Every day. What a stupid nation, man. They fabricate news. You know, I remember like I was I was serving in the army, so I stopped coming to Paltok for almost a few months, you know. And then I came back in you in Paltok and I found a chat room saying Christian Prince died celebrating the death of a Christian prince. Muslims, that's it, that guy, you know, that you can find that the guy is dead only in Muslim website. And the funny is, like look at this. This guy, he called himself open mind thinker. This is not a freedom. So what is a freedom? I will tell you what is a freedom. Freedom is to burn Christians alive. That is a freedom. To burn people alive. Freedom only work for you. As long you are killing non-Muslims, burning churches, killing Hindus, slaughtering atheists, and the list goes on. And then somebody he burn your stupid Quran, which is very laughable, and we laugh at you and at your God, and what you can do about it. And then this guy in his video here. He play a little tiny part of the video, which obviously a fabrication, that the guy was speaking to a young young person, but they hide the voice of the young person, and he was talking about sex. He said, can you believe he do that? Look like this idiot, he forgot that he's a prophet, his wife is six years old. <laughs> hey, idiot, do you have a shame, man? Actually... I posted a comment under his video, you know, uh, here. I don't know if it's still there. Let us see if it's still there. Give me a second. Here we go. The comment's still there. What a shame he is having sex or talking about, uh, about sex in, uh, with the children. Don't you know that your prophet, prophet, he had sex with six years old girl. I mean, those people, they are, you know, shaming the man. I don't know if this is true or not, if he's speaking to young ones about sex, but he did not do anything, like he did not sleep with any. But they are saying, and they, you know, you know, they cannot trust the Muslims. They try always to frame anyone is against Islam to make him look like the devil. But they forgot suddenly that every single Muslim in the world is allowed to have sex with the children following the steps of their false prophet Muhammad, who he married Aisha at the age of six, which in the Islamic calendar, which means she was five in our calendar. So if talking to uh, somebody is under the age about sex, is evil for you well your prophet wife she was a child and not only that he encouraged muslim men to leave their wives who they are adult and marry children just so they can amuse them and play with them 
as the story of uh, Jabir. Jabir, a man who married a woman, she, she is a mature. So Muhammad, he said to him, why? Hey, Muhammad, uh, Jabir, where are you going, man? Uh, oh, uh, Prophet, uh, you know, I'm newly married. Oh, did you marry a child or you marry a growing woman? <laughs> no, I marry, you know, a growing woman. <laughs> so he said, why? Why don't you marry a child? So she can sport with you and you sport with them. Why you don't do that? So Jabir, he said to him, and obviously Jabir is, have, have a lot more ethic than the false prophet Muhammad. He said to him, uh, after he questioned him, why you did not marry a Jaria, little child, not just, and you will see in a second that this is not just a young girl. This is not a young girl. This is literally a child. How? Read with me carefully. So you could sport with her, sport. The pervert Muhammad is asking a man to leave his wife who is happily married to just because she is not a child. The guy did not complain about his wife. And then the man, he answered him, says, and look, look at that, like excuse. He's trying to, to tempt him by very weird seco you know pedophiles all of them they like children for a reason they can amuse them easy you do not need uh, to prove that you are the man for a woman just this is a child you give her a candy she is happy so she can amuse you and you can amuse amuse with her i said to him Abdullah, which is my his, his his brother, he died and he left nine or seven daughters behind him. I therefore did not approve the idea that I should bring a girl like them, but I prefer to bring a woman. And imagine, this is the Muslim translation. This is not Christian. I'm not reading Arabic. And this is not my translation. This is not my translation. This is the official uh, 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 fraud website of sunnah.com which i believe is run by the dean show the same organization who owned the dean show is the same who owned this website can you believe it an idiot from the dean show he is saying can you believe it brother this guy is speaking to children about sex hypocrite coward liars by the way the standard narratives has holes and look like all your religion about holes and the funny is you see you see holes only in in, in, in people but you don't see that your own holes uh, actually I made two comments but they deleted them they delete one I think I think if I refresh my page now by now is going to be gone I think so yeah and then this guy actually I found the website have a script of the video Muslim Central, because you know, if I play their video, those cowards they flag it for copyright. So I found this website, which I believe their website too, which is giving you what he said in the video, but in chat, in text, and the, the timing. So here they are saying, uh, uh, like all the bad things about this guy, brother. He is so bad. He is a very bad person. He is a crazy person, brother. Okay. Mm. Uh, Uthman ibn Affan, he burned the Quran. Obviously, he was crazy too. But let us go down, and then you will see the fraud, Idi. And I challenge this potato to give me 15 minutes only. You know what, 15 minutes? 15 minutes debate and you will see every one of you actually I called them many years ago those coward in the Dean show and at that time they have this guy his, you know, the, his wife she called him useless Yusuf state and they say brother and sisters if anyone have a question call me right now our phone line is open so I called and they never let me go through and actually I posted that in YouTube if any of you remember and then here he is talking about like the Quran should be respected because there is a science. The Quran is full of science, brother. I want to share with you uh, this. The Quran is full of science. 
for someone who is sincere who is a Muslim he agree that the Quran is full of signs the only signs I see in the Quran is a science of stupidity where the sun set in the murky water and the sperm is coming from the backbone and the women have a sperm coming from her ribs but look what he said let me highlight for you in case the text is not clear for you so he said here why we have I been created well actually this is a proof of the Quran to be sick and made by a sick person according to the Quran you are created just to worship Allah and this is telling me that Allah is mentally ill he created you not for any good reason except him being selfish am I making things up we can go to the yellow pages of Muhammad right now and we can check it out here we go let us open the yellow pages of Muhammad Read and love. This is not my book. This is not my translation. This is not my answer. This is the Quran explain to us why Allah created everything. And I created not the jinn and human except they should worship me. This false god is lonely. He look at himself what I want to do I mean come on there's nobody care I am alone in this universe let me create some Abduls and I will seduce them with endless penis so Eddie from the Dean show he is not telling us the reason really why Allah he created us only to worship him the Quran is so clear only for this reason Actually, in Arabic, it says the translation is, is a kind of close to accuracy. I did not create them for any reason, the human and the genie. And the funny, the Muslim believe in genie. And those are, you know, genie is, all, everybody knows that genies is a fiction stories about a creature does not exist. This is not a demon. Many Christians, they think that when the Muslim, they say genie, they mean a demon. Those are the ignorant Christians who do not know what they are talking about. I saw many of them, they claim to be priests. They think Muslim, they believe in the same thing as, as we do. Muslim don't believe in anything we do. Even Jesus, his name is Isa. Isa is the grandson of Zechariah, and he his his <laughs> and 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 his his uncle is Harun, Aaron. <laughs> And Moses was exist in the time of the uh, of the, uh, uh, the 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 Samaritan. So everything in the Quran is have nothing to do with us. The Quran is just a stupid book made by a stupid idiot. Even the Muslim themselves they call him illiterate. But look, when Idi from the Dean show he says the sign why I am created. Why you don't tell them that the Quran says uh, you Allah created you because he's sick. He created you for a very simple reason. Simply he need worshippers. And then he continues saying, uh, it's full of sign for someone who is sincere. What is the purpose of my life? Yeah, to you know, to kill people and do jihad. And the one who don't who insult the prophet will kill him. And uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, we go and make a refugee and we make babies and we don't go to work. And like you, you converted to Islam just to get a salary, so you don't do have you don't have a job. When the last time you have a job? And then where I'm going when I died? Oh, I, I, you want to tell you? According to Muhammad, the three angels will come to you in the grave and they will ask you three questions. The first question, who is your God? You will say Allah. If you don't say Allah, will hit you with the hammer. And then the second question, what is your religion? You say Islam. If you don't say Islam, they hit you with the hammer. And they show you a picture. The third question, who is this guy? If you don't say it is Muhammad, they will hit you with the hammer. I mean, even the grave is a, is a terrorist grave. And each time they hit you in the hammer, you go 70 cupid down. And they spit your head. Where am I going? Hey, where are you going? And then the Quran, I don't know what this word here, I think I, I think this is like a, 
uh, I know the word here me, uh, weird uh, ambiguity uh, to it who is your creator what is the purpose where are you going when you die uh, and these signs I'm going to share with one of them with you if someone of someone who like milk because milk is it is raw and organic if it is a grass fed animals that is given to this to you this milk what I, I you tell me what he I, I, this I, this is English your mercy okay let us continue okay and now look at the signs in the Quran it is just one of them one of them just give you an example because if you want the de development of the embryo sign Hey Muslim, who would like to call me so we can talk about the development of the embryo sign in the Quran, which is the most funny, stupid development? Who dare? Do we have any Muslim here? Who want to call Idi and tell him, be a man and call us or let us call you and let us see if you can explain to us the amazing stupid miracle in the Quran about the embryo hmm? you want to do so anyone Uh. Let us answer this guy. What we can do do we have any muslim let us go and see the sign of the embryo and get eddie from the dean show busted with no mercy allah brother allah he told us how he made the embryo it's a sign okay how he made the embryo how how read with me mm. it's amazing how allah how and he said how how prophet muhammad knew those things brother how how he knew those things read with me and laugh and die laughing chapter 23 verse number 14 how allah he made the embryo let us zoom in so everybody will laugh at your god and his stupidity according to your city quran that the the sperm become a piece of dead blood that is what the sign you are bragging about and then the piece of a blood became that a clot became a lump of a flesh. Is that what scientists say? Is that what scientists said? I remember there's an old video. They made an uh, like they, they they invited doctors from around the world to speak about miracles of the Quran. For sure, they will give you a big check in Saudi Arabia. So there's a guy, his name is Dr. Moore. Dr. Moore, uh, he himself, he said Islam is far away from science. This guy depends how much you pay him. So in one of his books, he says Islam is far away from science, full of errors, the Quran. And and uh, and, and the interview with him, uh, he said, uh, uh, it's amazing how the Quran knew about uh, how the embryo is like a leech. Well, why? What, what do you mean like a leech? The Muslim, they gave him a false translation of the Quran. When the Arabic is soaked, here says alaqa. Alaqa, he's speaking about the blood, not like. Does it say they're like a clot? No. A clot. And that clot, even the Muslim translation is giving you the answer, says a thick, dead blood. 
Alaqa simply, when somebody cut himself, the blood dry over his skin, that is alaqa. So the stupid Muhammad, he think that sperm become, the sperm itself will become a dead blood, and dead blood will grow and become a lump, and that a lump become a flesh, and then we made out of little lamp, lump, sorry, of a flesh it into bones. So the last stage is bones. And all the story simply, Muhammad is trying to copy uh, a meditation from the Old Testament about you made me, you know, you gather me like milk, like you make me like a cheese, and then you cover you cover my bones with the flesh. So the, the stupid Muhammad, he took that statement, he put it in the Quran, but he had his own spice, and he make it science. Let us see the other sign in the Quran. The first one, obviously, and, not, and by the way, not only that, I mean, we can go and see what Muhammad explained the verse. Because now Muslims, they say, oh, he has given you a false explanation for the verse. But we can go and see what Muhammad said about it. Shall we? I think, Idi, don't dare to say Muhammad is wrong. That will be a horrible mistake, my friend. Actually, you will not be stay alive for the second day if you say so, because Islam means peace. I mean, you know the thing. Isn't it Islam mean peace? Hey, Edith, do you dare to say Muhammad was wrong? Here we go. According to your religion, every womb Allah have appointed an angel who say, Oh Lord, the drop of semen. So that angel is inside the woman waiting for the drop of semen. You have sex with your wife, you do ejaculation. The angel is waiting for the drop of semen. Oh Lord, the clot. Oh, a little lump of a flesh. Do you see it? And then Allah, he will write your destiny, your deed, or you are cursed, which is very stupid, which means based on this, the guy who burned the Quran, he burned the Quran because he decided he should burn the Quran. The Muslims, because of the stupidity of Muhammad, they believe in destiny. Everything you do is based in destiny. Nothing you can, nothing you can make decision about. Nothing. Uh... There's a verse in the Quran. Saying. Uh, nothing you wish to do except what Allah wish to do. Nothing you will to do. Except what Allah will to do. وَمَا تَشَاءُونَ إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءُ اللَّهُ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ Nothing you wish to do. Or you plan to do except have to be but done by the will of Allah let us go to the yellow pages of Muhammad again and laugh at the Quran chapter 81 verse number 29 and you will not unless it be that Allah wills do you see it? If you go and open any Islamic interpretation, which is all of them, they are funny. You will see that nothing you wish to do, except it's going to happen only if Allah made it going to happen. Allah, he have to make it happen before you wish even to have it done. It's a destiny. If you don't like this translation, we can change the translation for you because all translations are stupid anyway. But you shall not will except as Allah wills. Do you see it? The Muslim, do you see it? So when this guy, he burned the Quran, he, it's this is not his will, this is Allah will. Allah like a drama. Prove me wrong. And when, and you know, the funny is, they are talking about Allah will punish those who burn the Quran, and then Turkey go by tens of thousands in the street just a few days ago against burning the Quran and in Syria, and then earthquake hit them. 
So look like your God Allah punishing you, not punishing his Swedish people. Shouldn't he be punishing the Swedish people for burning the Quran? Huh? And all the drama and Erdogan and the minister of Erdogan and every scum back in the world suddenly become a hero for what? For burning the Quran. Hey Muslims, don't make it, don't make it too stupid. Because then you encourage people really to burn the Quran. Actually, if nobody cares for burning the Quran, nobody will burn the Quran. But because you do that, you stupid, people burn the Quran. Why people don't go and burn the Bible in the street? We love, go and burn it. <laughs> you are not protecting your religion. You are actually showing everybody that Islam is the most disgusting, savage cult ever, sex cult. And now you need the police to protect you, Al Jazeera. Police ban Quran burning protest in Norway. Why you ban them? Hey people, fight for your freedom. We will not be the slaves of anyone. I don't care for burning the Quran, but don't let the police ban you from doing something. It is your right to practice. You want to burn the Bible? Burn the Bible. You want to burn the. Uh, you want to burn the. Uh, 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 anything I mean as long as you are not hurting people and then what happened after all the drama Allah did not punish the Swedish government for allowing burning the Quran actually they gave the guy even an official permission and what happened 10 days after Turkey itself is burning we would don't wish anyone bad, bad, uh, bad, uh, bad things to happen. Not to Turkey, not to any country. But going with their logic, with their stupid logic, if you burn the Quran, Allah will punish you. And the most people who go angry against burning the Quran is in Turkey. Erdogan himself was the first one to make a drama about it. Even he want to use it as a reason, excuse which we know it's just about politics. He is just a scumbag, like he's a prophet, to stop Finland and the Swedish uh, from joining the NATO. In fact, he himself should be kicked out of the NATO, for he is a friend of ISIS and a friend of the enemies of the NATOs. And then earthquake after earthquake. And if we look right now at the economy of Erdogan, what happened to the economy of Erdogan? not only an earthquake the economy is trashed and now they will ask all the kuffar including those who want to burn the quran to give them donation Is that correct? In fact, each time the, the, the economy of Turkey collapsed, is the one who made them survive again is the American. Everybody know that. But again, here we are talking about Islam. Islam is very stupid religion. And Muslims, they try to make themselves religious, but the fact the last one who can call themselves religious is Muslims. In the Middle East, I used to hear the word F to Allah every day, and nobody moved his finger. In fact, if you go right now and search for Quran in the sewage, in the Islamic countries, in Saudi Arabia, the sewage, the biggest problem of sewage blocking in the Middle East is the Quran.
it's not burning the Quran. Is that correct? Let me find you some pictures. You know, like every cities around the world, like when the winter come or they have a season of rain, uh, the city they go around and they clean the drains, etc., which is very normal. I mean, if you if you you know, if you have a city. But you will not see such a thing in any in any any uh, uh, any country in the world. Books, which is nothing but the Quran. You open the sewage. What is blocking the sewage? It is the Quran. And those are Islamic countries. This is Saudi Arabia. This is Kuwait. This is Bahrain. This is not uh, Norway. Who is the one who throw their book in the sewage? It is you. Look, look, you, you look, look like you know where it's you know it should belong, don't you? <laughs> look at this. They are using it as a toilet paper. This is the Quran. Why they throw the Quran? Because they give them Quran. You know, you open your door, you find the Quran. People, they are poor. They want to. They want to use it for toilet paper. They can't afford to use a toilet paper, so they use the Quran. This is the only thing is for free. People are hungry. People that have no job. People that have no future. They have no, no past. They have no health insurance. They have nothing. The only thing they spend money for is building a mosque and free Quran. And then go die. Is that the one you gave to Andrew Tate? He grabbed it from there, maybe because he was in the sewage all his life. A pimp. Now we go back to Eddie from the Dean Show, brother. Because he will tell us more signs. We did not cover all the signs, brother. There is a lot of signs. So in the minute 5, 37 to minute 6, 19, he said this. What is the second sign? We, we, we covered the scam of the first one, the human embryo. Actually, no, we did not cover it. Hold on. I missed something. Here, you will find that when Muhammad speak about the embryo, Muhammad, he claimed that the semen stay inside the women for 45 night. Dr. Muhammad, peace be upon him, PhD in embryo. Why Mr. Eddie from the Dean Show don't explain to us such a miracle? Guys, imagine, imagine if science discover, really, uh, that a sperm live inside the women for 60 or, or 45 days. Do you know what the Muslim would do? They will go not. I mean, even if the guy maybe he just throw a number, you know what I mean? Like, what if the what if the number here is not forty five nights? He said only five nights, and then science says okay, only five nights. What the Muslim would do? They will print this everywhere. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? But because now this is stupid, Muslim they hide it. Science, brother, science. 
I mean, semen is going inside the women's wombs. Since when does the semen go to the womb? To the womb? I mean, are you sure? He's saying, uh, Simon, where are you going? I go into the womb. What are you doing there? I will stay there for 45 nights. Uh -huh. Is this for free? Exactly. It's for free. Accommodation, food, fruit, drink, and you can swim. 45 nights. Dr. Muhammad, PhD. Hold on. I have a call from a doctor. Christian Prince. First of all, you are lying. What do you mean I'm lying? It says in front of me, 45 nights. First of all, let me get you what said. Allah Prophet, he said, 40 or 45 night. What the heck? Okay, so which one? First of all, when the Prophet, he said, 40 or 45 night, that means he's not sure. What the heck? He's not sure why Allah did not. Like, Allah told him 40 and 45 night. Like, is that, isn't it? He received his, his information from Allah. Exactly. So why Allah is saying like 40 or 45? Is Allah himself did not know really what the real number? Good and breath. First of all, when Allah is at 40 or 45, he means 40, uh, 44 or 44 for you. What? 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 what, what you, I, you, you made me dizzy. Exactly. Because when the Prophet of Allah is big, he may call the Kufardi. What? No, no. It's You made me dizzy, not the Prophet. The Prophet is dead. You know, your false prophet is dead and he stink. So now answer me. How Allah, he says 40 or 45 nights. And with it, whatever of them, both of them, they are wrong. Aren't you a doctor? First of all, I am a doctor, but I don't... What? What the heck? I could not understand what you are saying. Speak to me, man. Speak to me in language and good and breath. First of all, the disciple of Jesus that speak in language. Okay, you speak in language. Are you speaking in tongues now? Exactly. So what is the answer? What the heck? What is the answer? What kind of a prophet your prophet is? His God told him 40 or 4, 45? Does that mean Allah is not sure? Like maybe, you know, 14, 45. What do you think? Good and breath. I'm going to answer you, but I have to go because Ramadan is coming. What, what you, Ramadan is still a long time to come, man. What, what, what Ramadan have to do with this? Answer me now. Or Ramadan will be next uh, two months from now. So don't worry about it. Get in breath. First of all, you are a very bad in calculating. And obviously your mathematics is very bad. And I tell you to turn me in mathematics. Okay, uh, I will tell you. Uh, uh, challenge me in mathematics. You can tell you have a wrong mathematics. One plus one plus one is equal to one. Zuzu <laughs> Nakura. Who, who is the first one? Who is the second one? Who is the third one? And how do you put the plus between them? First of all, you say that the Trinity is one person. Okay. Then Jesus plus the Holy Spirit plus Allah is one person. Uh -huh. What does plus mean? What exactly do you mean by plus? Are we are they numbers or we are talking about a person? Get them breath. First of all, I can add any number with any different than a number. Zachary Naik, I think you have a diarrhea. So this is the amazing sign of a prophet of Allah. You are going to stay in your mother belly for 45 nights. Is that Alibaba and the 40 thieves in the four in the cave? 45 nights, and then uh, and then you know the angel will come. A drop of semen remains you know i like it when it says remain like look at the details look look remains so it's a drop of semen and now it's remain a drop of season for, for semen for 45 nights according to which science is that dr muhammad Qathim. actually there is a there is a guy let me see if I can find his comment in the previous video. <coughs> he made a comment. Just to show you, uh, you know, uh, how smart the Muhammad are. I mean, the second you are a Muhammadan, you are, a, you are a super intelligent. Let me see if I can find it. This was many hours ago. Let us see. Okay. Let 
just to show you how Muslim they try to refute us. <clears throat> Where is that comment? I hope uh, he did not delete it. <laughs> I will find it but maybe if he is alive and he is listening he can call us and show us how he can make such a comment and supposedly they refute us by their silliness uh... let us see here so okay this is five hours i go allah should give a credit to original source his original source list source okay this is a muslim he don't believe al fatiha belong to the quran we want someone else I'm still looking for his comment. Uh, it's just a different comment. Let us show you this one. If Jesus did destroy the Canaanites, how he loved him. In the cities of the nations, the Lord your God is giving you the inheritance do not leave any uh, 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 alive anything that you breathe completely destroy them uh, this is your stupid Quran you forgot you Muslim that you copy from the Bible and you put in your Quran and Muhammad is a thief don't you know and actually the Jews they did not Even in the story of Samuel, which is mentioned in the Quran, in the chapter of Al-Baqarah, the Quran is making fun of the Jews because they refuse to follow the order of Allah to kill the Canaanite. Not only that, the same story appear in the Quran about Moses in chapter 5, verse number 20, 21, where Allah, he told Moses, O oh my people, Tell your people to say to those to your people, enter the holy land. Enter to do what? To attack them and don't come back, otherwise you will be a loser. In fight, kill them all. Then the Jews they refuse. They said to him, Oh Moses, those are powerful, strong people. We will not enter there. Two men only of Moses they accept to do jihad with Moses. And then Allah He punished them. And for they refused to do, unless he said to him, let your God, Allah, free the land for us. And because they refused to kill every single Palestinian, Allah made the land forbidden for them for 40 years. So this is stupid lady who is speaking about doing how merciful. First of all, uh, you have a wrong understanding of the word merciful. very wrong understanding as an example the bible says that god he destroyed the whole earth by the flood so you think this is a merciful act no this is an act of penalty and punishment merciful is only mercy is only when you deserve mercy people abandon him he is the maker and he decide to destroy them actually god every day he killed people every day every single one of us die because God decide that you will not live forever this is God's decision for everybody including the Christians you have a very stupid understanding of the word mercy another Muslim he said 
no trinity in the Torah. And then he quote for us, here, O Israel, your Lord God is one. In fact, this is what we Christian believe. And this is a proven that Islam is false, that we believe in one God. The Trinity is not about believing in three gods, you stupid Muhammadan. We believe in one God, and the word here is used is echad, not one. One is a wrong translation. Echad mean unity. Echad. This is why the Bible, in the same book you will read, it says that the man, he leave his wife, and he will become one when they get married. But the man and the wife are not one. They are two. They are not one person. <clears throat> Muslims do not know their religion and they are going to teach you yours. This is how stupid this religion is. This is why you see that the Old Testament says God as what? Elohim. If you know what Elohim you eat it, you will know that this is not a word mean God, mean gods, gods. But we don't believe in gods. We don't believe in any God. We believe in one God. So what? So how we use the word Elohim? If you go to the Jewish websites, explain to you the street the Hebrew, you will see that you are an idiot. And the word Echad mean a compound unity. And this is why when the Muhammadan they use the word Tawheed, it's showing us that they are stupid and they are copying from the Christian something they don't belong to. Because Tawheed is even more, I mean, it's stupid because Tawheed means unification, not a unity. It's mean they are not even united. Tawheed is unifying things which are not united. So when the Muhammadan he say I believe in Tawheed, he don't believe in the oneness of God. He believe in many gods. Otherwise, explain to me how you use the word Tawheed. Let us go to the second sign sign by the Dean Show. You want, aren't you? Thirsty for the second sign? There's many signs, brother. The second sign here, uh, the orbit of the galaxies. I like this one. Okay, hold on. I should actually I step this one for you by mistake. Uh, yeah. There is there is mountain acting as big stapler. And this is a science now. The most time they say scientists, they found that areas have earthquake, mountains help to stabilize the ground. <laughs> but this is not what the Quran says, you stupid. The Quran says that Allah, he placed the mountain as pigs in the ground. But the fact science says the opposite. The mountains are a reaction of an action which earthquake, which means because of volcanoes and earthquake, because of the pressure of tectonic plates, we have mountains. According to your stupid God, Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. There was no mountain. He made mountain. He put it in the top of the earth because the earth is going to not to be stable. So Muhammad, he looked at the mountains. He found them so massive. So he thought, oh, those are will stabilize the ground. Otherwise, the ground will fly. It's like have a sheet of carpet. In fact, the Quran says it clearly that the ground is a carpet. Shall we go and see? Let us check it out. He used literally the word carpet. Literally. Besought. You know the carpet of Alibaba or Sindibad? That is besought. Chapter 71, verse number 19. The Muslim translate as widespread. This is false translation. You can copy that word here and paste it in Google. The last one. Just do it now. Besot mean carpet. 
In fact, let us do this. Oh, there is a Muslim trying to call us, maybe. Let us see. <laughs> maybe there is a Muslim. He have a courage to call. Hello? Hello, yes, uh, who is with me? Yeah, hello, good evening. Good evening, are you a Muslim? Yes, please, I'm a Muslim. All right, what do you think about our topic? What do you want to share? No, I... Hello? I want, yeah... Can you mute you too, please, because my voice is coming back to me. Yes, who is with me? Is it? Yeah, M mute think... you too, please. Good you can Muslim? keep it running yes, I'm if you want to see yes. uh, the screen, but just to mute the sound there. Yeah, I wanted to comment on the embryo that you were talking about. Yeah, but to mute you two, please, first. You say? Mute you two. YouTube is running in the background, so the sound is coming back to me. I wanted to comments on the embryo that you were talking about. Uh, yeah, but mute YouTube, please, first. You say? YouTube is running in the background, so the sound is... Oh, okay. 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 I'm waiting for you. All right. All right. Now Hello? the sound is good. Okay, you want to talk about the embryo? Go ahead. Yes, I, I actually had some questions to ask, um, both on uh, Christianity and then uh, Islam. Yeah, what what do you want to talk about the embryo? Um, um, I am not a scholar, and I'm not a student of knowledge. I am learning. Okay. And I have some questions to ask, and I happen to see that you talk about the embryo. All right, go ahead. Yeah, and then you you were. Can you give me the surah? Can you go back? Chapter go, go twenty three, back to chapter twenty three, verse number fourteen. Okay, but first of all, I wanted to say something maybe before we start. Um, I have you know seen few of your videos, and then the way you tackle your program, I think is really bad. Okay. I like I like it to be bad. You know? you, Sorry. In, um, 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 you insult, you attack Islam, you mock them, you call them names. Like what? What? I what? I, what? I call? Best. What I call Muslims? What are the names I call them? You mock, you insult. They're stupid. Like what? Like uh, what? Give me an idea. Give me, you, give me an idea. They're stupid Allah, and then you okay. Know, so what? I say stupid Allah. So no, what? The thing is, the thing is, you. I don't have a problem. You can preach the gospel to Muslims. No, if no, you no, want no. People to... I don't care if you have a problem or not, lady, lady. A, a, I don't care. A, a, I don't care if you have a problem the way I talk or not. Your God is a stupid, and the verse you chose yourself is proving that. Prove it wrong. Chapter twenty-three, verse number fourteen. No, it says I, I'll come that. To that but what I wanted no, to say. No, no, no. You see, you are saying to what me. I, I say Allah is a stupid. Well, Allah is a stupid. If the one calling if, if, names without attacking Islam. No, without, I am not calling you, names. You, I'm not calling you, names. You, I'm not. Allah. It's not the best. Yeah, listen. Say, I'm not say, calling please. Names. Can I'm, you listen I'm not to me calling. when I'm done? You, 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 you can also say something. I have seen uh, Muslims and then Christians have civil discussion without insult, without mocking, without attacking. I have seen that. So I think you should learn from that. Well, I learned from your God. He called us donkey, called us pigs, called us monkey, called us kuffar, called us infidels, called us animals, called us dirty, called us nudges. And now you are saying to me, I should not speak like Allah. Are you ashamed of your where, prophet where, and your God? Where, can you show me where... He insulted you. Yes, the whole Quran is an donkeys insult for the Christians. Isn't it the Quran says that the Christian the same as donkeys? They carry books, but they cannot understand it? Is that correct? I don't know what you are talking about. I have not I'm seen talking that about this. your book. I'm talking you about sure. your book. Look like you do not know your book. Chapter 62, verse number 5. It says the similarity of the Jews and the Christians is the same as those who carry the book, you know, the Torah, in the top of them, but they don't understand it. 
Read it. But but you but you have been insulting them donkeys. I I have so, seen some so videos it's okay of for you. you. So it's okay for you donkeys. to call me to call me a donkey, but I cannot call your god donkey. You cannot insult. You see, we have to respect each no, other. No, I don't religion. have to. I don't have to. We have to your respect. God, no, Sesh. I you I don't what? have. I don't have to. You know what? Tell your if God, you, tell your if God you want to talk about us. Islam, you you, you, are, you are saying you are that being, you normally you are being uh, hypocrite. You are being hypocrite. You call us filthy, dirty animals, kafar, najis, donkeys. Nobody is hypocrite. And then when we say to you, I'm when we say to Allah the same word He used to us, you get upset. Have civil discussion. Listen, Without okay. Insults. Listen, 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 listen. You yeah. are a, you are a female. Do Islam respect you as a female as long as you are speaking about respect? Islam respects me. So why the Quran says I can beat you if you are I mean, your husband? You are taking this out of context. You okay, give me the, the give me the context. Go ahead. I'm listening. Chapter read four. It. Listen, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. I'm listening to you. What is the context of beating a woman? I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm coming. Hmm. Chapter. Chapter 4, verse number 34. Is that the civil conversation between wife and husband in Islam? A man, he can beat his wife. The father can beat his daughter. And he can beat his sister. And you can beat every male, can beat every female. And you are talking about respect. Is that the civil conversation you are seeking? So, may, no, but but I think we should we should respect each other. That's what I've seen. That's what I'm saying. I have seen Muslims and Christians have civil you are, discussion. You are, you are lying. No, you are lying. They there's don't no, attack. There is no Muslim. I've seen that. There is no Muslim I've respect. Seen that. No, this is they a don't this attack. is a false. They don't call me okay, they give, don't me one, know. give me one. Give me one. Give me. Okay, hold on, go, hold on. So, are you saying to me your prophet was a bad person, but the Muslims are better than him? Because you're a prophet, even curse Muslims and call them names. Even he beat them when they don't deserve that. If, if, if our prophets call uh, this, uh, names and whatnot, uh, 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 don't you see people who betray their people? They ah, didn't do that so now it's okay. So guys, see? They now it's do okay. Do don't you see? This. Don't you see? The prophet, he have the so right to call them child, names. Uh, so uh, I have the right to call him name. What? The guy is a child molester. He beat women. He go after children. He he is a thief. Even the Muslim, even the Muslim, even the Muslim accuse him that he stole an underwear. This is how... but, but sometimes you have a So now listen, listen. You, you keep changing topic. You keep you keep you keep you keep changing topic. You keep changing topic in the speed of light. Can you tell me? Can you tell me why your husband can beat you? Go ahead. I'm listening. Men are the caretakers of women. As men have been a provision by Allah over women and tax with supporting them financially. And righteous women are devotely obedient and when alone, protective of what Allah has entrusted them with. And if you sense ill conduct from your women, advise them first. If they persist, do not share their bed. But if they still persist, then discipline them gently. Gently. But if they change their ways, guys, do not hold on, hold on, hold on. Guys, did you hear the word gently? Can you show me the word gently in the Quran? I'm using the English version. Yeah, but, I, but I, this I, is a false. I, I, so you, you Muslim, not only you lie, you you fabricate a Quran. You are adding words. It's not there. Doesn't say. Doesn't say the word first. Does it say in the word I, second? Hold on. Does it say in the real Quran the word first? Does it say second? Does it say third? Does it say gently? No. So you fabricate a translation to cover up. The Quran. Sir, please, I am reading this on 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 lie. Okay. Quran so why so why so why the translation in the you. why the translation in front of me? It doesn't say. Listen. That you, okay. No problem. Uh, no problem. We're having a conversation. Hold on. Hold on. So why the translation in front of me, which made by a Muslim, doesn't say any of what you are saying? 
But that is what I'm reading. I'm reading I don't for care. you. You can read the okay. and I'm reading are, are, it for are you. Are you from Somalia? So, are you from Somalia? Are you from Somalia? If you, if you, you are you, from Somalia you and you know Arabic, read it. Listen, listen, Islam listen, 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 okay. listen, listen, you listen, okay. You listen. see, you can preach the gospel to Muslims if you want okay. them to convert hold on, hold to Christianity. On. You talk too much, no but you, you, you talk too much, you say nothing. You talk too much, you say nothing. Can you give me a proof? Can you give me a... Hold on, hold on. Can you give me a proof that the Quran and Allah teach the Muslim to beat women gently? And what gently mean? Explain to me. What, what did you say? You said that the Quran says beat them gently, which does not exist. It's a fabrication. But I'm asking you, if I am a husband of a Muslim woman, I want to beat her gently. How I do that? I, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Your husband now decides to beat you gently. You do not know how gently you like to be beaten by the husband. He what? He will use like shoes. He will hit you by the chair. No shoe, something like maybe some toothbrush or something like toothbrush. that. Toothbrush. That, 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 that is not beating. That is not beating. That would be tickling. Is he tickling? She that is gentle. Is that a ticklish? But or this is a, the Quran I, I, I thought, a, I thought a, this is a, 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 a woman. I, I, I thought, I thought. Listen, 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 listen. Why you are fooling, why you are fooling yourself? Why you are lying to yourself? How he is beating you as a punishment and he is using a toothbrush. I am saying, you said the Quran don't respect us, you know, women. What about your God, Jesus? He insulted a woman, a gentle woman, a dog. What about that? Well, okay, hold on. So if my God, he called her a dog, you said he called her a dog, right? That? No, listen, listen, so listen, 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 listen. First of all, first of all, first of all, Jesus never said you are a dog, you are a liar, like your prophet. Secondly, we have the verse, we can liar. put it on the screen. You are a liar. I'm Secondly, liar. you will see there Jesus, this woman, she worshipped Jesus. Is that true? She called him Lord and she worshipped him. So how come you see only what you want? What Jesus was he, saying to her, he, listen, he, shut up, let me answer. Woman, let me answer. He, he, listen, he listen, listen, I will convert to Islam and I will have four, Jesus, four like you. Listen, the, listen the, shut the, up the so I can answer. Shut up so I can answer you. You mentioned something, it's a lie. Uh -huh. You are a please liar. You are a liar. Please. Did this woman don't worship Did up, this woman worship Jesus? Yes or no? How come you did not see that? Did Jesus do her did Jesus do it to her her wish and he said to her, Your faith is great, yes or not? Did Jesus say I'm to saying, her, but so the the fact Muslim, that he saw the woman face. You talk too much, you cannot talk in the same time. Well, I'm the, saying, the, the okay, you, Muslim, you, they you, see you, only what they want. Like, listen, listen. So are you are you huh? in Islam equal to human or an animal? I'm human, like so, you. So read for me the following, I will put it for you in the screen. Remember, you are the one who opened the topic. Hmm? That is what I've seen, and I was just telling you that you should preach the gospel rather. Just, just preach the gospel to Muslims. If you want people to convert to Christianity, no problem. Just tell them what Christianity is about. Con uh, convert them by preaching the gospel. I do it in my way, okay. and I'm very successful. Muslim leave Islam, and you will leave Islam too. Here we go. No this is as, this as is Muslim your Aisha. This is your Aisha. Listen, listen. I don't respect. I don't respect anyone. I don't respect anyone who follow a child molester. Take it clear from me. So this is your prophet wife. This is shut up, shut up. Read with me. You're a prophet wife. She said you made us. You made us. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Because I cannot. I I I want to read. Shut up so I can read. You are you are a radio machine. Your prophet consider women half a brain, so don't prove him right. Prove yourself that to be not a half a brain. Your prophet wife, Asha, she said, you made us equal to donkeys and dogs. Why? Because the prophet, he said, that when you pass by those following, a donkey, a dog, and a, a, a woman, your prayer is not valid. And the one who said, you made us equal to dogs. You compared us to dogs. Is Aisha read it in front of you? Now you can Aisha, talk. Way? Now you can is it talk. From go the ahead. Quran? No, this is a hadith. I, I I go by the Quran. I don't care. You are a hypocrite again because if you go by the no, Quran, you know okay, what? hold on. You know 
okay, okay, well, okay, okay. You go by the Quran. You, well you go only uh, by Muslim, the Quran. You go only by the okay. Quran. Who is so Aisha? Who is Aisha? Is, if it contradicts listen, the Quran, listen, go you by go the Quran. only by the Quran. Who is Aisha? I'm saying. Even the authentic hadith. Listen, hadiths, I don't if it care. I am asking Quran, you. Listen, listen, listen. Focus, focus, focus. Use it. Focus, focus. If you have a brain, I'm asking you. You said you go only by I the Quran. I have a brain. Okay. I have a brain. Like then your, prove your, it. Your, then your prove it. Okay. So, I'm, so let us talk. Let, let me talk. I'm asking you a question. Listen to it so you can answer it. So as long you said you go only by the Quran, who is Aisha? Who is who? Aisha, Aisha, you don't know who is Aisha. I know, I I know who is Aisha. Who is Aisha? Who? The prophet wife, one of the prophet. But you wife. said you go only by the Quran. You are a hypocrite liar. But if it's historical, but not something what that's historical from the Quran. What historical? What historical? What historical? Secondly, secondly, this if is about the this is authentic. Of the this is the same. No listen. Listen, but something from the Quran. listen, you hypocrite, from listen, the Quran, hypocrite, he me. hypocrite, hypocrite. This is not hypocrite. This is you authentic Al Bukhari. This is authentic. This is authentic Al Bukhari. So, how you say to me you no, don't follow Al Bukhari? I'm saying it's just like, so please listen to me. It's just like any country. If you have a constitution and then they pass a new law and the law goes against that constitution, it's null and void. And so is the Quran and the Hadith. Even the authentic hadith, if it goes contrary to the Quran, is okay, not how, how does it conduct the Quran? Here we go. The Quran says, and, and you know, Okay, the, hold the, on. The I will Quran, go with you. The, I will go with you. Is it true? 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 Okay, hold on. Is it true? Is it the, is it a true that two things, two things, shut up. Listen, listen, you talk too much. You are a talking machine for nothing. Is it true that a Muslim, if he touch his shit or a, or a woman, his prayer is not valid? Is that correct? Is it what? If a man, Muslim man, he touch a woman or shit, his prayer is not accepted. From where? Which verse in the Quran? Hadith, in the Hadith, yeah, in the Hadith. Say, please, I told you. What? I told you, say, please, if you can quote it. So now you will, the... so you will not accept the Hadith now? No, please. So you, so are you saying that the one who said that that uh, Allah He said, uh, uh, if you touch shit and women, you cannot pray. Your prayer is not accepted. Is are you saying this is a fabrication? This there's no way Allah can say that. You say, you know what say? Are you if saying? You are you saying Quran, no way Allah? Speaking to me. Are you saying no way Allah? Are you saying? Listen, listen, listen to the to question. Me. Listen to the question. You can, you can answer. Uh -huh. Okay. Are okay. you saying that there is no way Allah will say such a statement that if a man he touch his shit or a woman his prayer is not accepted? Are you saying Allah will never say that? Because of the I hadith? didn't say anything like that, sir. So what what does that mean? You rejected or you accepted? I, is that is that bad or good? I I did. If you if you prove it to me from the Quran, I said to you from the hadith. I said to you from the hadith. Okay, so. Uh, why you uh, why, so are you saying to me you don't have you don't have a problem to be equal to shit as a woman sir please i'm telling you if it's from the quran pull the verse and read it for I me i have it oh, i have it from the hadith so no do you please do you I accept told you. why you are saying no please is it is, it is like, it the hadith uh, is it the, the hadith is your prophet is, is it your, is it the, the hadith listen so is the hadith is it the hadith is your prophet teaching so is the hadith the prophet teaching so please so, so, please, so okay so are are you, are, why you don't say to me then allah will never say such a thing about women that women and shit are the same because you didn't prove it you didn't prove it for okay. me. Okay, so but are you saying it. Allah will never say that? Allah will never say make such a statement about women. I'm not women? saying anything, sir. Please, I'm not saying anything. No. Don't so why? So what do you want to say to me? Then I'm asking you: Is it a woman equal to shit in Islam? Yes or no? I don't have a proof on that. I am asking you for a proof. Do you believe you as a Muslim woman that women and shit are equal in the front of the eyes you of Allah? You are saying it, so prove it. Prove it from the I Quran. I am not me, going say. to prove to you unless you give me the answer first. Okay. Are you saying, so, uh, so are you afraid to say yes because Islam considers women and shit are equal? 
please show me the proof say you, why you, why you don't give me the answer and say no why you don't tell me why you don't tell me listen listen you see you are you know your religion very well obviously and you know that in islam consider you as equal to shit this is why you will never say to me no way allah will say that because Nothing if you, like that. If you, that's what I'm saying. If you prove it from the Quran for me, pull the verse and read it for no, me. No, I'm please. asking you as a Muslim woman, are you equal to shit according to Islam? Either you say yes or you say no way. I, I know the Quran values okay. women very so much. So what is the answer? Yes or no? Are you equal? I, I, Let I me repeat the, the question again for the last time. Much. Lady, I'm losing my patience with you. Let me repeat the question. The Stop words. talking so you can hear the question. Talking Women machine, radio station. Listen. So, so are you? Are you? Stop talking about the West. In the West, dogs have more right than you. You cannot beat a dog in the West. If you beat a dog, you go to jail. So shut up. Listen. 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 Are you equal like to shit? Listen. Listen to the question. Listen to the question again. Last time. Last time. Shut up. Are you are you agreeing that the Quran or the Hadith says that you women as equal to shit? Either you say no way the Quran will say that or the Hadith. Or you say, yes, I accept that. What do you think? Say, please, I don't have to repeat myself. I told you, pull the, uh, the verse from the Quran for me. So are you saying there's a verse in the Quran saying that? You are saying it, and I'm asking where. I said to where? you in the Hadith, so why you are, said, so are you, said, you see, please. now you are showing me that you are a hypocrite because look like you are sure that Islam consider you equal to shit. That's why you don't challenge me. Why you don't, why you don't, why you don't, why you don't challenge me and say there's no way Allah will say that. Why you don't challenge, why you don't challenge and say, show me, I challenge you, Allah will never say so. Can you make such a challenge? Allah will never say so. So I, 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 if you prove it, if you pull the verse from the Quran, you, and are, read it from, you are a coward and hypocrite. And I, I, I gave you the, I, I gave you the question many times. You refuse to answer. Obviously, you know that you are equal to shit in the Quran. Chapter four, verse number thirty-four. It says, if you come in touch with shit or women, your prayer are not accepted. La masrum in nisa, and the Muslim they try to fix it says, oh, sexual intercourse. It says, la masrum in nisa. If you touch women, a man he touch a woman, his prior is not say. accepted. Why? Because he touch Nisa's shit or women. Yes, this is what Allah said in the Quran in front of you. Which chapter say? Chapter four, verse number thirty-four. Four verses thirty. Chapter four. Four forty-three. You are asking me to respect your God, and your God is calling you shit, making you equal to shit. And look at the funny translation. If you come from your closet, in Arabic it says, Min al Who is the translator? A closet? It's, <laughs> it says, guys, look at the translation. Come from your closet. The bathroom is your closet now. If you came from al it if you do poo, -poo said, This is the verse you gave me. Oh, believers, do not approach prayer while you are drunk. What a drunk? Are what are you talking what about? You what are you talking about? What a drunk? Yeah, but you said four for the three. Huh? He said chapter yeah, four. Yeah, yeah, but read, read that, read that. End. Read. Okay, but here, here actually, this is a proof that the Muslim even they get to drunk. They are drunk all the time. What kind of believers they are? But anyway, continue, continue, continue. And if and you have the, the says that you shouldn't drink alcohol, but you, you people, you drink. Some of you drink alcohol. Yeah, we there's drink some, alcohol, but but we are not. But we are not. We are not. We are not allowed to get drunk. Actually, the Bible says drunken cannot go to heaven. Muslims, you're a, you're a, pro, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. He was a drunk three days, four days a week. Now continue reading. Does it say if you touch a woman? If you In touch a, world, does it say if you touch a woman or come from the shed, your prayer is not accepted? Huh? 
I didn't see anything like that. Sure, read for me then what you say. It saying. says that all believers do not approach prayer whilst you are drunk until you are aware of what you say, nor in a state of full impurity, unless you merely pass through the mocks until you have bathed. If you are ill on a journey or have relieved yourself or been intimate with your wives and cannot find water, then purify yourselves. Mm. With clean it, it's wiping a... your face and hands. Okay, no, it's, yeah, it like says it. it says in Arabic, la mastum. La mastum means touch. I don't speak Arabic. I don't care if you speak Arabic or not. This is the meaning. You can't check it out. Do I even so, care? You see, what about you go right now? Arabic? Listen, listen, I don't speak Arabic. Huh? Are you stupid or what? What about you go right now, copy the word and post it in Google Translation and see what it means? What about you take this word and post it in the in the in the dictionary? La mastom la la means touch. Please, la, la touch, 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 touch. So if you touch two things, touch shit or touch women are equal. And when Aisha she said, "You made us equal to dogs and donkeys." Because that your is, prophet is, said really three that things. I don't know about from the hadith. I don't I care you if you say. believe in the hadith or not. Don't call me again. I don't talk to people who they are half a brain. This is not an excuse. Playing dumb is not a, is not a victory. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care if you know or not. Don't seek respect when you are not respecting yourself. You follow a religion, make you equal to shit. Even Muhammad, he says, women are naqisat wa aqlin wa deen. They have half a brain, half religion. They have a defect in their intelligence. Well, maybe he's talking about Muslim women, and he's right. And the smart one of you will leave us now. Only stupid one will accept to stay in such a garbage. Please, you keep insulting, you keep insulting, you kill Allah stupid, you call the Quran stupid. They call us dogs, monkeys, kuffar, liars, hypocrite, uh, uh, najis. Najis, we mean filthy, you cannot, you cannot even wash yourself. And then, hey, please, you're insulting, you know, doctor, look how sensitive they are. They kill you, they take your land, they rape your wife, and they take your money, and they take your house, and then they are sensitive people. Very sensitive. And the second you show them the reference, they don't want to read. They don't know Arabic. This is not what it says in the front of me. But, and you beat them gently. I mean, is that a punishment or this is a foreplay before sex? Have you ever heard of somebody punishing his wife by beating her gently? Hey, honey, I'm going to beat you. Where are you? Oh, this is your ass. Ah, you like spanking, don't you? Spanky, spanky, oh, oh, you like it? Oh, uh, here, you like it, don't you? Oh, why are you taking off your panty? I was supposed to, I'm punishing you now. What? You like it? Really? Okay, gently? Do you not like it? Uh, no? Okay. Beat them gently. And Islam respect women. And they add and they fabricate and look first, guys, first, first, in the Quran there is first. Second, and then then if they persist, forsake them in bed. In fact, it says, <laughs> we jail them in their rooms, not just forsake them. Finally, brother, finally, strike them. Hey, th th this guy, he forgot to add the word gently. Let me show you how gently it is. A man, he did beat his wife. And the woman, she came to Muhammad seeking help, justice. Muhammad, he took the side of the man, actually. And he told her, oh, okay, so. And how he beat her? He beat her until he made her skin, gently, by the way, greener than her clothes. Look what Aisha, she said. Rifa had divorced his wife, whereupon Abdul Rahman ibn Zubair al Qurazi married her. This is one of the things about Islam, by the way. Muhammad respect women. If a Muslim woman she divorced three times, she have to go and sleep with the new husband at least for one night before she can go back to the previous husband. Which means you have to be effed, literally, excuse my language, before you can go back to the previous husband. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> Read with me, Allah. How Muhammad, he respect women. Look, the husband is the one who divorced her. So now she is a victim. And maybe this woman, she have a children, not because of the husband. Obviously, the husband, he don't deserve even to have a wife. But it's what Muslim do. They marry women. They change them the same as they change shoes. So if he had divorced her between two bracket to the third time, then she is not lawful for him until she they would, uh, she if, in Arabic it says tankah, to if, not to marry. Just to show you how they lie, it says, to if a husband, not to marry a husband. I mean, he's a husband, you stupid. In Arabic, it says, to if the husband. And this is the story. <coughs> Sorry. We see here about, uh, about Aisha, the woman, she came to her and her clothes is greener than her, uh, her skin is greener than clothes. clothes. Uh, why? Because she married the man, but she refused to F the man. This is the whole story. And the prophet, he took the side, the false prophet, he took the side with the man because he told her, listen, if you think you can go to your previous husband, you are mistaken. You cannot. <laughs> Unless he tastes your orgasm. Hasila. The Muslim, they make it intercourse, false translation. You cannot go back to your previous husband, Rafa. Read it carefully. The husband, he said, the, 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 pre, the present husband, he said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, she is disobedient. She wants to go back to Rafa, which means the private, uh, previous husband. Muhammad said to her, Oh, hold on, hold on. If this is your intention, then you should know. He is unlawful for you, between the previous husband, unless this guy, he do F you. Do you see it? And the Muslim, they are fabricating translation saying sexual intercourse with you. No. It says, until he tastes your orgasm and you taste his orgasm. Read it. That is your religion. And that's why they will say, he didn't accept the hadith because the hadith is the laundry of Muhammad, the panty, the bikini, the bra, the blood, the, the semen, the smell, the dirt, the dogs, the rat, the lice, all of them, they are there. So the Muslim, they try to wash their hands from what Muhammad did and said. <coughs> what a scam, man. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He is filthy like this. He is saying to a woman in the front of her husband, he, you have to taste his orgasm. Read carefully. Even the Muslim translation, look, look how they try to duct tape. You cannot go back to your previous husband unless he tastes you. This guy, taste your sweetness. This is the Muslim translation. Taste your sweetness. Taste. And you taste his sweetness. Do you see it? False translation in the dictionary. Asila mean orgasm. Usaira tuki. He have to taste your orgasm. Look at this translation here. Taste your honey. <laughs> hey, Muslim women, look like you have a hive in that location. It is honey. Now I know why men, they call women honey sometime. Hmm? He tastes your honey? Really? And you taste his honey? Are you sure? I told you I don't accept the hadith. Now who cares if you accept? Who are you? You are nobody. You are half a brain according to Islam. This is Islam. Islam without hadith is not valid. I asked her who is who is Aisha. She said, "Did, did you see how she went to mute for some time because she knew if uh, if she says she is the wife of the Prophet, I would say, where do you learn that from?" She just said she didn't accept the Hadith. So how you accept the name of the Prophet wife? 
Can you believe it? How liars they are? Who is Muhammad's father? Abdullah. Where you was born? In Mecca. Okay. Where do you get this from? She said history. What history? Which, which history? The only books that speak about those things is the Hadith. And imagine this filthy man is forcing a woman. Her husband did beat her until he made her clothes, her skin greener than her clothes just because she didn't want to have sex with this guy. Which means this is a rape. This husband, he did rape her, literally. Muhammad is forcing the women to sleep with the man. He did beat her. And Muhammad took his side. And the man, he did beat her until her skin is greener than her clothes. And yet Muhammad, he don't care. In fact, he gave him this verse. Men are in charge of women. <clears throat> Aisha herself, she said, not me. I never saw a believing woman is uh, I, I never saw a suffering woman as a believing woman. Who said that? Aisha. Read carefully. So when Allah Messenger came, Aisha said, I have not seen any women suffering as much as a believing woman. Who is the one who is the witness? Uh, Mr. J, he is saying, you are going to be banned in YouTube for saying shit too much. My friend, uh, I think I'm going to be banned too much in YouTube because uh, I have someone like you. I think it's against the guideline of YouTube to have a shitty person like you here. <laughs> in YouTube, people, they go naked. They say the F word every two seconds. <laughs> you ain't seen the word set. This Muslim is so sensitive. He's saying the word fit. It's in the Quran. By the way, how many times the word shit mentioned in the Quran? It's a miracle. Smart, Abdul. So look at this religion. And what Muhammad he do? This is the gentle beating. Like, do you see Muhammad says, shame on you, man. Why you did beat her like no the guy he did beat her he explained she don't want to sleep with him which means he's trying to force her into sex and Muhammad he took his side he, Muhammad did not even mention why it is green Aisha is the one who mentioned it look her skin is a greener than her clothes and this woman she say the husband he beat her with toothbrush well I hope that your husband he will brush you every day with his toothbrush. You know the Muslim they say that the Muslim he beat his wife by the miswak. The miswak is a very harmful root of tree. Miswak is not those things they be, they sell them in the street, you know, like one inch. <laughs> it's a very long root. They beat the animals with it. So, and now because every Muslim, he want to be like Muhammad. This is the miswak. This is the, the, the toothbrush. Do you see it? And they cut it pieces. This is, can be go two meters, can be one meter. You cut it as you wish. They are long. This is the toothbrush they are talking about. Look, uh, sister, your husband, he can beat you by the miswak. But the miswak is a very long, flexible root. It's hurt more than a whip. And then they cut it pieces and they sell it for the Abdul. But this is not how it is. 
It's a very flexible, harmful piece of stick. What a hypocrite liars. Respect me. You're not respecting. You keep saying the word is stupid. Kuffar. They call us kuffar, which means people who hide the truth. Uh, uh, liars, hypocrites, donkeys, dogs, monkeys, uh, nudges, filthy, equal to any worst of the creatures, and not to mention what more Muslim they say about us when they pray. Please, Allah, don't make us the same as the lost Christians or the cursed Jews. This is the religion. <clears throat> okay, maybe we have Abdul. Let us see. Maybe we can have a man better than those. Hello? Yes, my friend, are you a Muslim man? Hello? 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 Yes, you are live with us. Are you are you Muslim? Yeah. yeah. All right, what do you want to say to us, you. my friend? You are welcome first. Okay, okay, I just have a question for you. What do you think about this woman? She said that Muslim man, he should beat uh, his wife gently. Are you gonna, are you gonna let me speak first? Yeah, but we have a topic, uh, if you don't mind, too. There's a Muslim uh, sister, she called us before you, and she said the Muslim man, he should beat his wife by toothbrush. Okay, that's cool, but I wasn't listening then, so uh, I have a question for you now, a different question. You know, I just told you the question, so you, you, you cannot say, it, you cannot say, I did miss it. So she said that the Prophet, he said, beat them, or this is what Islam okay, teaches, beat what them. Why? You don't care? Okay, I, I care. Listen, I just have a question for you. No, I are care. You, I want the answer. You, you are the Muslim who is calling me to refute me, not to ask me questions. I'm not your sheikh, my friend. You are the Muslim. I'm learning from you. So why the Quran says you can beat your wife? Listen, I'm going to ask you very simply. I don't care do you if, you are, if you have a question. Answer my question first. I will take your question. I don't. I don't know. I don't care what she told you. So if you I, do I not know, if you do not know, why you call yourself a Muslim? How Are you a Muslim who do not know? I don't speak for her. Huh? Well, why are you putting words in my mouth? I don't speak for this lady. I'm not. Spe I'm not saying her? you speak for the lady. I asked you a question, not for not her question. I'm asking oh you. Why so the Quran says question. you can beat your wife? What is the reason you can beat your wife? What kind of religion teaching you to beat your wife? Is that how you can solve a problem at home? <sighs> this guy, you just, you just, you know, you don't let you don't let your your caller speak like. Let me answer. I'm Let waiting me for you. First. You are waiting so for you. You are trying. You are trying to avoid my topic. This is my topic. You see, you go to a restaurant. They say we sell falafel. You ask for tomato. We are selling only falafel. So, are you going to answer why the Quran says question. you can beat your wife? Question. I can answer my question. I have a question. You can. Question. You can ask your question. I promise you. After you answer my question. I I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not here to give you a. a a ruling. I don't give rulings. Okay? I don't so care we... for ruling or not. I'm not asking you for ruling. Did I ask you for ruling? I'm asking you Go why ask... the Quran says you can beat your wife. A Muslim. You are a Muslim. So you understand the Quran. Tell me why and how and which. Why we should beat the women. Is that will fix our life? Is that will make the women really good women? I'm not going to speak out of ignorance because I'm not like a Christian. Christians. Okay. Are, saying me, are you saying to me? Are you saying to me you are an ignorant who is calling me and you call yourself a Muslim ignorant? No, I just I. But you I just say you just said you I are ignorant. You just said you are ignorant, and you will not speak because you are an ignorant. So, are you an I ignorant Muslim, or you are an ignorant who is a Muslim? I, I recognize the subjects I don't want to speak about and I don't know about. Okay, so, are you, you, so question, you are an ignorant. You are an ignorant who recognizes the subject, but he have no comment about the subject. I just joined the live, okay? Whatever conversation you were having before, it doesn't... I, I'm not me. having a conversation before. I'm having a conversation with you as a man. So why you are not... Don't make a comment. What do you think? Is it logical that God teaches you to question. beat your wife? 
I have a question about your religion. No problem. You can ask me any question you want. Question. You can ask me any question, question my religion. friend. Okay. You can I'll, ask me I'll any ask question you. you want. Tell me first. What do you, you think? Why what you do running? you think about beating women? Are you scared? Well, the one is scared. You are the one who called yourself ignorant in order to escape talking about your religion. I'm not escaping. I came here with a question. No, you, you are escaping. You said you you just called yourself ignorant. You insulted yourself, calling <sighs> yourself ignorant. And now asking me a question about my religion. So how come you are ignorant about your religion, but you are interested to know my religion, not yours? You you believe your religion is a truth, right? So let this me is ask, not the topic. Answer. Listen, how come you question. are not interested to know your religion, yet you call yourself ignorant, and now you are calling me to know about my religion? Don't you think this is a sign of a clear hypocrisy? I haven't studied the the fiqh. On 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 wife marriage, okay. Okay. I don't know about so, that. what do you study about, about Islam? What is your study about Islam? If there is a field you study. Listen, you see, you want to you want to change the subject. Is, is there is a, no, I want to see because you said I did not study, as if you are a person who study. So, did you study anything about Islam? I've studied I've studied a lot of things, but you're, you're like what? Away. Give me an you're example. Talking. Give me an example. <sighs> You see, you want to change the subject. I'm not changing subject. the subject. It's you who are trying to change the subject. I am the one who have a title. I am the one who have a subject. I am the one who have the hate in the front of me. And you are the one who called me trying to change everything to make it about I, Christianity. I, I, I clicked on your live. I clicked on your live. I don't your care. Is, don't you see the title? Don't you see is, the topic? Don't you see Christian what I'm Prince. saying? I'm not talking about your the Bible. I'm not Prince. preaching the gospel and now. Now you are trying to change the topic because you are scared. Islam is a false religion. Princess, and you princess, cannot prove princess. me wrong. The princess is princess. your prophet and you. You're a prophet. He used to receive Quran wearing clothes of women. Is that correct or lying? <laughs> What? Why are you changing? Is it? No, you are the one who called me princess to insult me. Is it your prophet who put eyeliner three times a day? Is it your prophet who pissed like a woman? Is it your prophet who kissed men down their belly? Is it your prophet he sleep naked with men? Is it your prophet he opened the door naked and people see him naked totally in the home? Is it your prophet who unleashed his legs and showing his legs to men? Is it your prophet he says, I never received it's Quran really until I wear, wear my wife clothes? Your prophet is a cross addresser. So don't insult me, call me princess. Speak like a man so I can speak to you as a man. Now I, tell me tell me how much you know you about your religion. I want to ask you about your religion. Princess, I don't have a religion. Please. I don't have a religion. We don't believe in your religion. Christian. I don't have a religion. We, we we are a Christian. We believe in Christ. Right. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. So, so now why you don't want to tell me anything do you about believe, your... Well, are you, do you, are you in, saying to me you don't want to talk about your prophet because he's a shameful man? You believe man. in the Eucharist. You are you are you a person do you believe who, in the Eucharist? Listen, do you I believe in what? Do you believe in the Eucharist? What is that? The Eucharist where you eat you eat and you drink the blood? Oh, we do that? You believe in that? No, we don't. Do you? You don't believe in it? It's in the Bible. No, we don't believe in drinking blood. No. What? You don't no. believe in the Bible? You want me to give no, you the verse? We don't believe there's no such a thing in the Bible. But I can show you right now, you're a prophet, you Muslim, you drunk his blood. You want to challenge me? Literally. You're changing the subject. I'm not changing the subject. It's your subject. Here we go. In the Bible, nowhere it says we drink blood. You are a liar. Jesus, he was drinking juice and he said, this is my blood. This is symbolic. And he broke, he broke John, bread. Shut up. He broke bread. He said, this is my, my body broke for you. So where is the meat John and where is the blood? Shut up. Shut up. John shut up. Shut up. Yeah, I know the verse. I just quoted for you, you idiot. Now I can show you, you're a prophet, Muslim, drinking his piss and drinking his blood. Is that correct? You're changing the subject from your You religion. are a coward. You are a coward. Is it true? Say at least say to, to me you are a liar, man. Be a man. Uh, why you don't challenge me? Say you are a lie? liar. Did I lie? Is it true that the Muslims? Is it true that the Muslims they drink the blood of Muhammad? Yes or no? Did I say anything about that? Why are you saying I lied? I didn't say. I'm not saying you are a liar. I said you challenge me. Say I are a liar. You don't dare to challenge me, you potato, because then I will put it in the screen. Christian, you drink blood. You drink blood. Is okay. You drink. No, I have a question about your Bible. You drink blood. Where is the blood, you donkey? I mean, look how stupid they are. Look at the lies they have. They go around. This is it. You know the Christian. They believe in drinking blood. They are zombies. Zombie. Allah Akbar. 
In fact, it's you Muslims who drank the blood of Muhammad. And his peace, his peace, I wish only the blood. And Muhammad, he said, no fire will touch your stomach. For what? For drinking his piss. And they say to us, Muhammad is just a man. They fight even over the poopoo of his of the camel of Aisha. Actually, there's a, there's a movie made by the Muslim. Let me find it for you. <laughs> they were waiting for the camel of Aisha. To poop and when the camel he pooped go watch it when the camel pooped this is a movie made by you Muslims when the camel did poop the Muslim they fought over the shit of the camel Those are Shia <clears throat> posting those videos about the Sunni. Both are Muslims and the Shia are not lying. This is coming from your books. Fighting over the poopoo -poo of Aisha. You Christian, you don't drink the blood of Jesus, huh? You believe him? Supposedly, he, like, so, supposedly now he put me in the corner. Yeah. Do we have any Muhammadan? <laughs> and you know the funny is, I am the one who's trying to change the topic. <laughs> like, do you see my title says gospel only? Do you see my title says uh, what Jesus said? Oh, we are talking about Islam. It's you who don't want to talk about Muhammad. The woman before you, she don't want to accept the hadith, hadith, okay, I'm sensitive. Yeah, sensitive, very sensitive people we are. Yeah. When they want, they accept. When they want, they reject. Who is the prophet wife, Aisha? Where do you get this from if you don't accept the hadith? This remind me of ultimate fault. You remember him? Ultimate fault. Those hadith are made the Arab, the effing Arab, you know, he's filthy, filthy mouth. The effing Arab, the bad Arab, this garbage Arab. They made those hadith. Okay, uh, ultimate fault. Who is your prophet father? Abdullah. Who is his wife? Aisha. <laughs> Where he gets information from? He he mute himself for like three minutes, and he said, "From the books of history." <laughs> books of history. Where is that? <laughs> books of history. Oh boy. Hmm. Potato, and you know because he is sure from what I'm saying is true that the Muslim they drank the blood of Muhammad and they drank the piss of Muhammad. He did not dare to say, "I, you're a liar." It doesn't say that, he, because he knows it's true. And the funny is, they are calling us to say you drink the blood of Jesus when they are the one who literally drank a real blood. Post a link for this. Okay, well, uh, I, uh, I don't want to post a link. Okay, hold on. I will post the link. Hold on. There we go. This is the movie. You can watch the whole full movie, but here they have a little short part of it, I think. About how the Muslim Sunni and the guy he put the he put he put the 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 the, the shit of the camel over his nose, ah, oh, it's like musk. Alhamdulillah. And the Muslim saying to me in the chat, "Are you mental?" Okay, my friend, I have to admit now. Yeah, yeah, I am. You are saying you are you are right, my friend, mental, because I take shower with dead dogs and women blood from period. And garbage, and I think that water is always pure. <clears throat> Are you mental? A Muslim is talking about mental.
a Muslim talking about mental. This is how your prophet take a shower. He jump in little tiny jacuzzi, have dead dogs and women blood from period. Period. Literally, literally. Oh, this is not print and print. But of all, those are not real material. What the heck? Is that gonna how you how you come in the show, man? I mean you did not even call me. Print and print. I can speak to you through the world. You are a genie, aren't you? Exactly. So okay, what do you want to say? First of all, this is metaphorical dogs. What? And this is minstrel dog. A minstrel metaphorical minstrel. This is min what, what? What? This is metaphorical minstrel. Zach, hold on. This is metaphorical minstrel clothing. Exactly. What do you mean? Simply, it's just the clothes. They are red. Because they don't want to say they are red, they say minstrel clothes, they mean it's red. Ah, it's a red bikini. Exactly. And Christian Prince, you are getting better now. Thank you. Okay. So what about, it says here, uh, stinking things. First of all, there is a mistake in that pronunciation. They are saying thinking things. Thinking. Not thinking. Oh, thinking. Exactly, because they are in the water. So they put things and they are thinking. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I thought it says a stinking. Christian Brent, that your Lord Eric, man. That your Lord Eric. You your Lord Eric. Okay, okay. What? Uh, you make sense now. It makes sense. Okay. <clears throat> but there it says dead dogs. Christian Brent, first of all, this is not dogs. So, but it says here, dead dogs. So there's two things. Those dogs are dead, not dogs only. Christian Brent, first of all, there's an American car. It says Dodge. What? American car, it's called Dodge. Uh, uh, yeah, Dodge. I know this uh, brand of cars. So they are saying they are dead Dodge, which means that our cars are not working. What the heck? The dead dog is dead Dodge? Exactly. Like if you are driving your car and you have a Dodge and then it's not working, what do you say? The car is dead. Christian Prince, I know that now you are in trouble and you can't refute me. I mean, <clears throat> dead dodge. I, I, I never thought about it. And so, Christian Prince, I told you, this is why you cannot debate me. And I trained you to debate me face to face. Uh, should I come with my dead dodge? Exactly. You come with your dead dodge and we debate you. And the idiot, he is talking about drinking blood. They duct tape everything. I mean, it says minstrel, clothing. It says dead dog. It says a stinking garbage. And then what Muhammad, science, Dr. Muhammad, he is he knew everything. He says, water is pure and nothing defiled by anything. Okay? Alhamdulillah. Smash Allah. Water is always pure. <clears throat> I just made those things up, by the way. I mean, Zakir Naik never said that. Because I know Muslim will say, Zakir Naik, you know, I just I just took it, I came with the idea, you know, dead dodge and ministerial, you know. What you can do, this is what happened when you talk to a Christian prince. And they call you, they want to talk about Christianity. Oh boy. <laughs> Hold on, we did not finish the Dean Show si signs. Let us go to the Dean Show signs, shall we? Let us go there, brother. Okay, what is the sign number three? Uh, we did not. Uh, <clears throat> did we miss what? Which one? We we arrive now. So there is countless signs. Oh, oh hold on. So, uh, yeah, uh, Allah he he placed the mountains as pages on the on the earth. But if you go right now and check how mountains are formed, you will see that mountains are formed either by volcano or by the pressure of tectonic plates, like what happened now in Turkey. There's the mountains of Zagaros, and those mountains are pressured 
between tectonic plates and this is how they go and this is why you find a lot of mountains like in Japan in uh, 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 Philippines in Italy whatever volcanoes are you will find that too but it's not somebody put them in the top of the earth this is this is stupid If we search right now in Prophet Google, peace be upon him, how mountain forms, you will see that what Allah speak about in the Quran is just a pure stupidity. <clears throat> it's just a pure stupidity. Stupid. Literally stupid. It doesn't take you more than a second search how mountains are formed then you will see tons of scientists don't listen to someone he is talking about his religion just go and listen to someone he is just speaking science someone is a professional or maybe go to nasa peace be upon nasa hmm? Any Muhammadan? And as long as we are talking about mountains, uh, in case you do not know, mountains are smart in Islam and they refuse to convert to Islam. The only one is a stupid. He accepted the trust of Allah. Is a human. Look at this fast, stupid translation. I mean, how a, how a person don't speak English do what, what that word mean? I mean? They translate it without translation. Let us see different tra uh, stupid translation. We offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refuse to bear it. And we're apprehensive of it. But a human being accepted he was unfair and ignorant. He Muslim, who can explain this stupidity? When a human being, he accepted such an offer. Like did Allah consult with Adam before he created him? He said, Adam, do you like me to create you? And then you have to obey me and you accept, uh, you know? Is that what happened really? Isn't it the Quran says, "Wama khalaqtu al-insa wa jinna illa la yabudu"? We did not create the earth, the 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 the, he, the human and the genie except to worship. What trust he offer? And the mountain they refuse. They, they refuse what? Huh? They refuse the trust of Allah. Can they even refuse and accept? Is earth is a flat in the Quran? Absolutely, the earth is a flat in the Quran. Bisat, uh, Midad, whatever, blah, 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 all those things in the Quran. Uh, actually, the Quran, not only that, the Quran confirmed that Allah, actually, hold on, you just remind me. Zakir Naik, he speak about the verse in the Quran, chapter 79, verse number 30. So he said, with the Thitar, in the Quran, chapter 79, verse number 30, it said that Allah, he made the earth like a globe, like a bowl. Stupid idiot. It says Allah, he made the earth flat. How the word flat became a bowl? The stupid Abdul Zakir Naik, he, once a, a Muslim, he made a video to refute me. He's a donkey. He do not know good Arabic. So there is a word duhya and the ha ha. They are totally different. So the stupid Abdul, he made a video, and then since then every Muslim he cover he copy paste. But if you go, even the Muslim they say this is false. The uh, duhya or the duhya is something different. This is the ha ha. He made it flat. Let me show you. Here we go. If we go right now to the Ibn Kathir, if we go to uh, uh, at Tabari at Jalalain, let us go there. Chapter seventy nine, verse number thirty. English.
And by the way, just a reminder, if I look at the at the view tomorrow and the view is very little, not fit with what we do, the, 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 the work we do, I'm going to take some time without coming to YouTube. I'm just letting you know. Because it's really disturbing to see that nobody care, really. I mean, we spend here, we shout, you know, it's not healthy. I I I stay for many hours shouting, people making me making death threat to me. And then we see that Christians don't care even to share links and get us a view. And as you see, we don't get anything from those views. We don't get even donation. We don't get a chat. Uh, uh, we get nothing except sharing the truth. So don't be surprised if I stay away for a while. If I don't see really a good view I deserve. This is the interpretation of the Quran. It says here, and that he spread the earth. Do you see he spread the earth? This is a false translation, by the way. And then it says, even he spread it on the water. So according to the Quran, we are the earth was on the water. On the water. Not the water is on the earth. Read it. This is not my translation. This is not my interpretation. This is Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad. We go to Ajalalain. Read with me. Chapter 79, verse number 30. After that, he spread the earth and he made it flat. Those are their scholars, not the Quran Ayuka, the guy who did not know Arabic. Do you see it? He made the earth flat. I don't have super chat because YouTube don't allow me. YouTube is, uh, you know, against everyone who insult Islam, attack Islam, Islam, you know, Facebook, uh, all, all of them, all of them, they sponsor Islam. Are you like, are you acting you do not know, really? No, I don't want to give it more than a day. Muslim, they make a video, a, a, a little, a little tiny Muslim, he make a video, he get 50,000. Here we are a real school. This is the university of one guy. Here we can do what nobody can do. We give our books for free. I stay here for many hours. I open my Skype, take live calls, which is not easy. You know, the, all those covers. Do you, did you ask yourself why they didn't dare to say live call, call me anyone? Because they don't have knowledge. A person he called you, he surprised you with the question. Those people, they go, well, okay, let us prepare for a debate. What's the topic? The topic next month. So they go in the internet, they search for the question, the answers. And now they are scholars. Here we have a life challenge. I don't know what the person want to say to me. Life. I have no idea who is even calling me. For a very simple reason. We have faith in Christ. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me? Second, we have the knowledge. The Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. Number three. We have the truth, and that is Jesus. And they have false man. His name is Muhammad. And everything in their books is in my head, which means I have all the laundry of Muhammad. And this is what they fear. They fear the laundry. This is why if they notice that you are a person who do not know anything about Islam, they will be lining up to debate you. In my case, all of those cowards who claim they have a career face to face only because they knew they are no match. They knew who they are. Last call for any Muhammadan would like to call us. And don't be stupid when you talk to me. Don't call me and say to me, you Christian, you drink the blood of Jesus. That is, that is your stupid... I mean, people are laughing at you. They drink the blood of Jesus. It's you who drink the piss of the prophet. You drink even the piss of the camel. Even animals, you drink their piss. I was working hard labor all day long. God is my witness. And that's why I actually I was late because I just finished. 
And I say, let me go live. Physical hard work, not metaphorically. And by the way, if you are a person who speak the Ethiopian language, we just posted a new book in the Ethiopian language for free. Even though the the the, the translator, those you know brothers who translated from Ethiopia, they thought I'm going to publish it and make it available for sale. I told him no. Ethiopia, Ethiopian people deserve to read for free. They are poor people, they need our support, not the opposite. I'm not going to make pennies and dollars from the poor ones. We want to save them, even though we are I'm not a billionaire and nobody, you know, you go to the Gaza station, nobody will pay for your guys because you are a Christian prince. But we will not seek profit instead of saving people. Do we have any Mohammedan? So if you know a friend, he is uh, Ethiopian, Eritrean, because I believe this language uh, spoken by many countries, share it with them. All right, do we have any anything, any question? Look like we are out of Abduls, and Abduls are ashamed of their cult. I'm not I'm not upset my friend I'm not upset it's not about being upset it's about I want to see that my work uh, you know go where it belong it's not it's not about me you don't even know me you see if I'm seeking fame I will put the camera people will know me become a famous I am not seeking fame I don't even put my names on the books. You don't know. So I'm not seeking any glory of my own. But what 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 make it and and uh, uh, you know like you see Christians. I mean, where is the Christians? Why they don't share? Why they don't do? What, you know, how come the Muslim they gang together? They gang for evil. Can't you gang for good? Even though the word gang is not good, but gang for good is to help the Muslims and help the Christian and help everybody to see the truth. So the truth will set you free. Anyway, <clears throat> glory, glory to the Lord. He always give us victory over lies, over deception and Nobody can bury the truth. The same as they could not bury Jesus. They thought they got rid of him. They thought we crucified him. They thought he is gone. But Jesus is always, always there for you. And this is what they fear. They fear the name of the Messiah. They want to worship a pagan man, a black stone kisser, a man who praises the three daughters of Allah. And the false Muslim, they say to us, we worship one God, his name is Allah. And they don't explain to us how Allah got daughters and how that invention happened and what Allah mean. How many videos I ask Muslims what Allah mean? Not a single one knows. They don't know. Or what they knew, their God, his name is Allah. What Allah mean, they have no idea. Before I forgot, this guy, he mentioned another sign here. Let us cover it too. He says, the fingerprint. Look at the fabricator. Hey, Muslim, there's a fingerprint in the Quran? The Quran mentioned fingerprint? In the Quran. There is a scientific medical brother about the finger of brand. Are you sure? <laughs> this is the Dean show. If you go in the Quran, actually, he is copying from the Old Testament that, you know, I will put the bones together. God will put the bones together for the dead man. Let us go and see together 
the fabrication of the Muslims about fingerprint. The Quran spoke about fingerprints. Really? Are you sure? Hmm. Fingerprint, huh? <laughs> you know, the funny things about this uh, this religion, each time you read the Muslim claim, because I speak Arabic, because this is my first language, not only I study it very well, but I mean, it is amazing how stupid they are. Okay, aren't you afraid that people really will go and check it out, even in Muslim books? If I search right now in the in Google, fingerprint Quran. Look right away, I get an image of the Quran and Yuka. Brother and sister, fingerprinting method discovered in 1880. It is mentioned in the Quran 1400 years ago. What the heck is it? Hey Muslims, is it? I mean, how much, how much you, how good you are in line? In the Quran, it's mentioned the fingerprint. I mean, even read the translation, by the way, guys. Read the translation. Where is the fingerprint? It says, I will put together the bones. You think I cannot assemble the bones? Nay, we are able to put them together in perfect order. The every tip of his finger, where is the finger? They are talking about putting the bones together. I mean, do you see how much they fool themselves? Even the translation you are posting is getting you busted. It's about bones. How much stupidity and deception? Huh? And by the way, the guy is quoting what? What? <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> guys, uh, the, 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 did you see in the screen? It says seventy-five three, correct? Yeah, but this is seventy-three and four. Anyway, stupidity. This guy construct his fingertips. You know, this is we will connect, and you can read the interpretation of the Mohammedan too. Liars, liars will end in fire. Chapter 75, verse number 3, 4, 5. Go. This is the interpretation. Read and laugh how they love to lie. Fingerprint, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, brother, this is about fingerprint. It's all about the bones. The bones restore their bones. This is verse number four, and this is verse number five. And this is verse number three. So they will not say, I'm taking it out of context. Bones. This is nothing about even the skin. This is literally about bones. Liars. But I'm not surprised. I mean, I'm used to this every day. Muslims are hypocrite. They love to lie. And their lies never stop. This is why when you see somebody saying Islam without lies, dies. It's true. Islam without lies dies. This is how Islam works. 
we have to lie in order to make a religion. Why they lie? If you go to the verse here, <clears throat> where is the verse? There we go. Anyone can show me the Muslims. Anyone can show me what you, I mean. All your interpretation, all your scars, even your prophet, never mention anything like that. Why? How this has become about finger tips, finger fingerprint. Miraculous discovery, brother. No shame with Islam. And this is actually Muhammad is trying to copy from the Old Testament. Who of you can pose for us? Uh, Ezekiel 37 verse number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then you will see Muhammad is just a thief literally a thief this is about putting the bones together how God, glory to God how he put the, the, the bones together of a dead man. Let me open Ezekiel. Hold on. <clears throat> Ezekiel 37. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord." So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God. Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves, and cause you to come up out of your graves, and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord, when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, 
and performed it, saith the Lord. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick, and write upon it, for Judah, and for the children of Israel his companions, then take another stick, and write. Anyway, you can read the rest by yourself, but as you see, Muhammad is talking about how God, copying the Old Testament, the book of Ezekiel, this guy is a thief. It's the same exact story, but now he is making it in Arabic. Don't the man believe that I can put the bones together? But that is the Lord of Israel. And you know, when you read right away, like a prophet like Ezekiel, here you hear a, a prophet voice, even though we never heard his voice. But the word is a striking. The sentence is a striking right away to the heart. When you read this stupidity here, it's meaningless. So my friends, we are people who have real prophets, true prophets, and they have nothing but fictions and superstition religion who believe that the black dog is the devil. He is not only racist, he insults the black people. He is not only insult Asian, believe that they are the tribes which Alexander the Great, he built a, a dam between them, Zulqarnain and us. Not only he made fun of the look of the Asian, he made fun of the look of the black. Muhammad is a racist man. He worship, they worship white supremacist or uh, uh, white supremacist cult, white supremacist God, white supremacist prophet. And I wish they even know what white supremacist mean. They have endless numbers of videos and description about how white Muhammad is, but you will not find one sentence of the in the Bible speaking about how Jesus looked like. Did you ask yourself why? Because for us, we worship Christ, not his look. We don't care if Christ was a black or Asian, if he was Indian or even Indonesian. If he was from Russia or from America, nowhere in the whole Bible mention how he looked like, because this is the last thing the Christian care for. And this is telling you the quality of the disciple of Jesus. No description whatsoever, for he is for all of us. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. The Bible says there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no slave, there is no free. No free, no slave. That's it. You are one in Jesus. I mean to that. So let us be one. Let us be united. Let us be strong. Let us fight the devil. Let us fight corruption. Let us fight, fight false priests and teachers who they are teaching false doctrines like it's okay to commit sin, homosexuality is fine, and all the garbage we hear from those false priests. My friend, follow the book, and the book is the Bible. Any other scriptures is not a scripture. Any priest who preach other than this scripture, he is an antichrist. Let him be cursed. Don't listen to false teachers. The devil, my friend, he will come to you in many forms. And he knew what he is doing. Never be politically correct. God, he kicked Adam out of heaven for eating a fruit, an apple, or a banana, whatever you want to call it. Just for disobeying God. It's not because he killed or he raped. 
Or even he lied. He just disobeyed God. This is what it takes to go to hell. Don't listen to them. They lie to you. They are getting their glory in this earth, and their glory is money. Interview with TVs and stations. Oh, look, this Christian saying this, this Christian saying that. Those are not Christians. Christians is the one who say what Christ said. It's better for you to unblock your eye if it's going to mislead you. It's better for you to put a milestone in your neck and throw yourself in the deep ocean before you hurt the little ones. Don't listen to false teachers. They will take you to hell. And if I ever spoke to you something against the Bible, never listen to me. Because that will not be me talking. That will be the devil then. Anyone he bring you a teaching other than what is in the book, he is not from a Christ. The Bible says you have to examine the Spirit and how you know the Spirit. Who sent the Spirit? From their fruits you shall know them. Hypocrite? Poetically correct? They are false and they have nothing to do with the Christ and all they will go to hell. So be proud, my friend. You have the Lord. You have the most beautiful name, the Messiah. He is your hope, he is your salvation and he is your victory. I don't depend on myself to have victory. I depend on him and with him I win. And as every day, always we win and Islam lose. Thank you. May the Lord bless you. And until I see you again, this is your brother Christian Prince serving you humbly for today. And don't forget, I'm just letting you know, if I see the view of my videos is not doing good, that means I need to take a break. So maybe you guys, you miss me. Maybe. Maybe not. We will see. Take care.